deficit. When the government is buying, like it said, it bought a trillion uh, special issues and only sold 950 billion. That's about a 150 billion dollar increase, essentially. Then it sold. Well, that goes here. So when the government is taking your money for Social Security or taking our money for Social Security and buying its special issues security, this number goes up. This number goes up. Well, what Chris Martinson discovered, I think, as late, late last year, this number started to go down. Which theoretically is good because if this number is going down, it also means that the total uh, outstanding debt is going down by the same amount. So it's less debt. Well, you would think that's, that's good. But if you go back what I just said and what we just discovered, the government spends the cash. So there's no money in here. So the money has to be, so even though this is going down, the money has to be borrowed. So while this is going down, all that happens is it goes to the public debt side. So the money that it borrowed from you and spent, it now has to borrow from the public to pay this down. So this number never goes down. <laughs> it's that's some that's some that's some. Mm, mm, mm. So that's why the budget deficit increases, because if all of the Social Security money goes into uh, Wall Street the whims of Wall Street traders if it goes on if it goes there they have to redeem this paper since the money's not there and since they don't have the money to redeem it they have to borrow it from this side by the exact same amount so this money would increase and be, because they have to pay it with interest this money has to increase that's not good and we've gotten a report earlier I think it was a few weeks ago this comes on from the Washington Times where's this uh, what's the date on this August 5th it's about two weeks ago roughly Social Security will pay out more this year than it gets in payroll taxes marking the first time since the program will be since the program will be in the red since it was overhauled in 1983. So Social Security is already having a problem. Why is it having a problem? Because this depression which is going on has people are laid off and it's based on payroll taxes. Well if you if you don't have a job you can't have a payroll. You aren't on the payroll anymore. And while the payroll taxes are dwindling, the roles of unemployment, I'm sorry, the, the roles of retirement are going, going up. More people are retiring. More people are hitting that 62 uh, mark. And maybe if you were still working, uh, you were, uh, maybe while you were still working, you were, you didn't take your Social Security payment. But at this point maybe you're not working and you are 62 and above and you have to times are different times are harder and so President Obama is correct it would by changing the uh, into private accounts it that would increase in fact increase the budget deficit and it would also put retirement at risk to the whims of Wall Street traders. But let's look. But let's look at this. Wall Street for four one people with four one ks, you lost. You know, in some cases, fifty percent, huge loss, huge loss. 
Don't deny that. But with government hands, you don't have any money. They spend every last dime of it. So that's a potential 100% loss. <laughs> the only reason they're able to make the payments goes into another lesson, uh, but I'll just share it briefly. China and uh, the Japanese and a lot, Russia, a lot of these other foreign nations are buying our bonds, our treasury bonds. That's the only way, and it's going into the treasury fund, the general fund, the one, the same one that your Social Security benefits are going into. That's the one. And that's why they're able to make these payments to you. But friends, my countrymen, believe me, this is not going to go away. This is not going to go away. And nobody's going to pay your bills forever if they're not uh, certain that they're going to get a decent return on it. And what have we been doing with the money that they've been sending over here? We've been spending it on uh, flat screen TVs and pools and redecorating our homes. Uh, well, that doesn't benefit them at all. Especially if you're getting into debt to the point where you can't even make the, the, the basic principal payments. So I just wanted to share that with you. And, and, and if you think that the government has this under control, I'm afraid you're gravely mistaken. Those of you who are hoping for uh, uh, to retire and just to get that, that, that Social Security check, uh, the question is, what's it going to buy? I've already showed you that the interest rate was uh, well above 5 during 2009, and they only had an average interest rate of 3%. That's a huge loss. That cuts your purchasing power down in half. And the fact that the government's lying to you about its numbers, its CPI numbers, should go to tell you that they'll go to any length to preserve the system and keep you thinking uh, that they are safe and that you can bet on them always. You'd better be right if you're going to trust them. You'd better be right. I myself don't expect to receive any Social Security benefits and if I do, uh, I don't expect for it to pay for much. But you who are thinking that you will receive um, uh, payment in full, maybe you will, maybe you won't. But with taxes going up, with inflation uh, going up, I mean, they're expecting food prices to go up in uh, by 10% next year. As a matter of fact, the CPI, they choose not to use energy or food in their calculations for inflation. Now who on earth doesn't use food or energy? And even if you say you don't you don't use energy, you 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 you're out in a cave somewhere or you know, um, the fact if you go to a grocery store, that food got there through somebody distributing it there. They drove it there for miles and those trucks run on energy. So even if your conclusion is you don't use much energy, you ride your bike to work, blah, blah, blah. If, you, if you're not growing these things yourself, if you're not self-sufficient, you are on the grid. You are using energy whether you know it or not. And energy and food are linked together. And the CPI does not account for that in its calculation. It's a lie. So I hope you realize that you're being <laughs> you're being conned, my God, you're being conned. You really are. So again, I agree with President Obama that it uh, changing to private accounts using uh, the Social Security uh, money would be it would have this effect. But the question comes, who's a better marketer or, or uh, better keeper of your money? 
Wall Street, 50% loss, not good. Or the government, the U.S. government, who potentially <laughs> has 100% loss on your money. They spent it all. Or maybe you should be thinking some for yourself and trying to figure this thing out uh, so that you and your family won't end up in, in the bread lines or the food step lines that are swelling at this very moment. That's my time. Uh, I hope you've been enlightened by this. Um, I'll try to get this out as soon as possible. Uh, thanks and have a good day. God bless. Bye.